Today's expedition, even though it's a glorious sunny winter day here in Kash, Turkey, involves very warm wet weather gear. You even brought your wellies, didn't you? Yep. Right. Yeah, I've got my scarf come. and my gloves, there's two, and, a, and a, a beanie hat. Because we're heading to high altitude where hopefully we're going to encounter some snow. Why not? Buzz is going to make a snow angel. Maybe. Bring the map. I did. Do you know where we are and where we're going? Well, we're in cash. I think it's something called like Gumbe, but I've got the map in my bag. And as soon as I put the camera down, I'll get it out. It took us an hour and a half to drive the 68 kilometres from Cash to Gumbe. summer all of those stick like trees would be um, all green and yeah. the place would probably be really verdant so if you come here Luke we'll take you to the snow <laughs> <laughs> we've just stopped at this petrol station to fill up with uh, gas um, because we're quite high and there's not very many stations around and I've just looked in the rearview mirror and somehow the cat has got in the car Just sitting on the back parcel bench. Come on, cat, you've got to go out now. Come on, honey, cat. <laughs> the guy's Robert. saying it's his cat. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I know it's warm. Come on. <laughs> off your trot. Imagine, imagine if we hadn't have seen that right. until halfway down the mountain. <laughs> go on, off you go, you're going to get hurt. Isn't that the cutest thing? We had a quick look around the town of Gumbe, but we were so eager to find the snow that we soon hopped in the car and continued on our journey. A mummy cow and a baby cow. Yeah. And she doesn't look like she's going to move anytime soon. Oh, she she's she's saying, come on, mum, get off the road. <laughs> get over. off the road. I'm too young to die. Oh, no. We came on a road out of town and up over this hill and we were heading in that general direction when all of a sudden it peaked out um, and started heading back down into the valley. We got close. I don't know if you can see with this camera, but just up there, there looks like a road between 
the uh, two sets of mountains and we want to try and aim for that road if we can um, but we've taken the opportunity here to stop for lunch because it's after two o'clock and this is a beautiful place to stop for lunch with a great view surrounded by these beautiful mountains what's yeah. for lunch lunch is pastrami sandwich oh lovely pastrami <laughs> It took us another one and a half hours to finally get to the snow line. <laughs> no, it's too hard! <laughs> oh, it's good exercise for this arm, isn't it? Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Hang on, I'll tell you what it will be good for. Snowballs? <laughs> <laughs> Bit disappointing. First ever snow angel. And it didn't work. <laughs> I've got a tip for you, Baz. What's that? Don't eat yellow snow. Right. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Mm. What flavour is it? <laughs> Icicle. <laughs> this is a man who hates the cold and has sworn he's never going to go back to the UK because it's too cold there. I've had enough now. <laughs> Yeah, and we've got to get back to cash because uh, it's Friday today and that is market day yep. and we need to get fresh fruit, veggies, uh, salad mushrooms. stuff and mushrooms because oh. we eat a lot of those. Yeah. So. And support the locals. Yeah. Right, I'm going to walk slowly and carefully. Cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I've got to stop recording because this could, this could end in disaster. <laughs> down it's just sunny and you know snow free all right somebody may be playing a prank and we might be mistaken but that there Looks like a bear footprint. Now, if that is, that's a bloody big bear. I don't know if they have bears in Turkey. Maybe it's a yeti. It could be a yeti, yeah. That sounds even more exciting. But yeah, that's, that's a big, big, big footprint. Yeah, see there's one here too. In that oval shape at the back. Well, looks like we'll have to do some research when we get back to the boat to find out if they have burrs in Turkey. And if so, what kind of burr? Is it a big friendly burr? Or a nasty snarly burr? Yeah. Getting back in the car, it's freezing! Yeah. I'm safe. I'm safe from burrs! <laughs> Today is Sunday and it's a beautiful winter's day here in Cash Harbour in Turkey. And the front end of ABC has been needing some attention for quite some time. So I've chosen today because it's nice and still to be able to crack on with a couple of jobs here. The first job we want to do is to clean up the forward area where the anchor is. Uh, they got a bit dirty when we were servicing the furling mechanism. And the other thing I want to do is to detach the anchor from the chain, uh, drop all of the chain overboard and then bring it back up over the bow roller so it's, it's actually straight because it got very, very twisted when we were at anchor uh, in the bay right next to Cash Marina. That was when ABC was doing pirouettes for a whole day and half a night. So I'll get the tools together and we'll get on with it. Now for detaching the anchor from the chain and dropping the chain overboard, uh, I will need to use my number five Allen key. Um, it has got Loctite on it, so I'm also bringing along my trusty rubber mallet to give it a good belt. We will be using this. No, it's not what you think it is, it's something else. Uh, I've also got to be uh, using the spare halyard 
and I will be reusing the Loctite once I put it all back together again. So let's go forward. One of the first things I want to do is get the spare halyard around the anchor uh, roll bar uh, and then of course I'm going to secure the anchor uh, probably from here or maybe from that hole up at the front um, let it out a bit and that means I can get the anchor raised up a bit and out of the way from the bow roller so that I can just have this chain running freely backwards and forwards over the bow roller to straighten it all out. That's the plan, we'll see how we go eh? Well, that liquid lock is uh, really good stuff. It does exactly what it says on the label. So now we've got the anchor separated from the chain. The trick now is going to be to get the anchor up and out of the way so I can uh, let the chain run freely over the bow roller. Hmm. This could be interesting. Okay, well that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Basically, I've got all of the weight of the anchor on the spare halyard and that's uh, through a jammer here at the cockpit. Uh, and I've got the other end of the, uh, the anchor shaft attached to the forward cleat. So now all I've got to do is get the swivel and the chain over the bow roller, let it all out and bring it back in in a straight line. I've just looked over the front of the bow roller and the, uh, the pointy end of the anchor is ever so slightly in the way for bringing the chain back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a little bit of a line around the uh, uh, shaft of the anchor and attach it to the uh, forward stay. It's also interesting what you find when you look in closely at your anchor chain. Uh, we've got about halfway through the 50 meters and there's a load of, uh, well I, I'm going to guess it's some sort of uh, fishing line wrapped around it so I'm going to cut that free. Okay so that's all the chain out. It's sitting on the bottom. Uh, it's quite clear water. I don't know if this camera will pick it up but we'll have a look. And now all we've got to do is bring the chain back up and just watch to make sure it comes up straight and not twisted. Of course one of the things we do have to do is flake our chain into the locker otherwise it piles up into a big mountain and jams up the gypsy. So I'm just going to ask uh, the opinion of you guys and girls, leave a, a comment down below. Should I put these six or seven links of chain um, onto the end of the swivel, in between the swivel and the shaft of the anchor? Or should I just leave it as it is? Well, I've probably opened a can of worms there, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so that's the anchor chain straightened out and I wanted to get that job done because we've had a couple of times where the, uh, the chain has actually jumped off the gypsy, uh, actually going down and coming back up. So uh, it definitely needed doing and I'm really happy I've done that. Um, the cleaning, it's going to have to wait until another day or later because one of our neighbours has just called around and said, hey, fancy a beer? You imagine how much arm twisting that took for me to say yes. So. I'm going for a beer after I tidy everything up. <laughs> Next week we explore more of the amazing Lycine Way. If you've enjoyed this video do give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell icon so that you're notified of future updates.
If you want to help us further, do share this video with your friends. Until next time, thanks for watching.